Hey guys, Slash Movies 410 back again with another video. And it's been a while, so I thought I'd update you guys on my horror room. Um, I did clear some stuff out, and it looks a lot better. And um, yeah, it sort of looks different, but um, most of the stuff is pretty much the same. So yeah, I'll update you guys in a second. I just need, I just want to show you guys this new uh, uh, sheet that I got here. Well, I wouldn't say it's new, but it looks a lot better than the old one. So um, let me just focus the camera. It's not focusing for some reason. There we go. So yeah, as I was saying, the old one had like rips and tears on the bottom, and this one overall just looks a lot nicer. So uh, yeah, we'll make our way into the horror room. Here's the new Enter Here sign, which looks pretty cool. So yeah, I'll just turn on the lights. So there we go. And here's my favorite part of the collection, the mask shelves. So yeah, they're all all the masks are looking pretty nice. And as you can see, I, cl I cleared out all the uh, crap down there, like the paint cans and, the, and all the tools. And it looks a lot better. And I'm actually planning on constructing a new um, shelf over here so I'll have more room for masks. So yeah, here are all the DVDs up here. I know I say this in a lot of videos, but there's nothing really much to talk about. Well, there is, but it would just take up too much of your time. So you all could just take a look at all the masks. So yep, yeah, there we go. Here's the uh, werewolf section, I guess you could call it. Well, that's the only mask on there, so yeah. And uh, here's a shelf I could actually talk about because... um. As you all know, my witch mask and the pumpkin mask came with my fearsome faces mask. Um, you could go check that video out. It's an old video. Well, I wouldn't say it's old, but, you know. Uh, anyways, um, I had all these masks lying around, and I didn't have room for them, so I just got this little shelf thing. I don't know what to call it, this cart. And it rolls around, but I prefer to keep it here because I think it looks the best, for now at least. And that brings us to the ghost face section. Again, nothing really has changed at all. Uh, I got some drawings down here, like the MTV ghost face. And I actually did this in school. It's a little tribute to Wes Craven, because we all had to do like a project on somebody that died. Um, so I did Wes Craven. And um, yeah, here's some more masks up here. And I'm not sure if I showed you guys in an old video, but I actually uh, put this Owen Trent mask up here. And unfortunately, it only snowed like a few times in my area, so I really didn't have the chance to uh, go outside and do an Owen Trent costume test video. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed about that, but maybe next year. Or, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens from there. Here's some more masks up here. Here's my metallic purple ghost face mask. With all the candy corn lights. Yeah, and it stops about right there. And then I got my uh, some more masks up here. Again, you could just take a look. I don't think I need to describe everything. And that brings us over here. I think I should have gotten a flashlight or something. It's, it's kind of hard to see. But most, mostly it's just printouts and DVDs and all that. And uh, there's my chainsaw on the leather face. Dummy, I guess you could call it. And um, yeah, they'll bring us to over here with the TV. And uh, all these DVDs over here. And there's my Halloween 15 disc Blu-ray set with my two favorite masks in my collection. And that's just my laptop right there. And all those DVDs that were up there, they're actually most of them are right here. Because I actually thought that looked kind of dumb that they were all, all up there. Plus they got really dusty, so I think it looks a lot better. Let me just focus the camera. And that brings us over here to Chucky and Tiffany. And there may be a possibility that I might be getting Glenn. Well, there is a possibility I might be getting him. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for that. If I uh, get him, I'll alert you guys and let you guys know, and I'll do an unboxing video. And, uh, yeah, I'll have the full trio, which would be really cool. Here's the happy birthday thing. As you remember from Child's Play 1 with Andy, he had that sign in the uh, living room. And there's some more printouts up here. And that brings us to the Michael Myers section. You've seen this before previous videos pumpkin thing and I actually keep all my gloves in here so I don't lose them I think that was a smart thing to do and yeah this is just a ski mask that I use for my other masks um, yeah that brings us over here to more DVDs I don't know if you can see that but that's Friday the 13th part 3 I know it's really hard to see I should have gotten the flashlight as I said before 
there's some more printouts that you've seen before. So yeah, I'll just give you a full view of the horror room. So yeah, that's pretty much my collection. Oh, here are all my costumes right here. We got the Michael Myers uh, jumpsuit. We got the Scream robe. We got the Scarecrow Scream. This is a little green shirt. We use this for like Jason. It's a long sleeve shirt. And then we just put a jacket over it. Looks pretty good. And uh, I don't know what to call this. I think it was like a howling horror costume that I had. Yeah, because it came with that mask. So, yes. And uh, I'll just give you a full view right here. So, yeah. Let me just focus the camera. My uh, camera's not doing too good today. It's not focusing very well. So yeah, I hope I got everything on video, all the masks, I hope I didn't miss anything. So yeah, that's pretty much my video guys, uh, thanks for watching. More videos will be coming up soon and I'll actually uh, be doing an unboxing video which should be coming out Wednesday I believe, so stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later with some more videos.